It is here at Sandy now, in the residence of my paternal grandfather, that I have the first consciousness of existence. My own enthusiasm was chiefly awakened by the wonderful and the terrible, the typical taste of children. I had always perused the usual, or maybe ten times the usual number of fairy tales, eastern stories and romances. I cannot easily forget the rapture with which I sat up reading by the light of a fire. I wished I had the lamp of Aladdin or the tapestry of some other eastern magician to fly away upon. My head was on fire for chivalry. I had an early partiality for the tales of my country and uh, an intimate acquaintance with its wildest places. O oh, Caledonia stern and wild, meet nurse for a poetic child, land of brown heath and shaggy wood, land of the mountain and the flood. The love of solitude was a passion of my early youth. When in my teens, I used to fly from company to have visions and imagine airy castles of my own. Show me an old castle or a field of battle, and I was at home at once, and I filled it with its combatants in their proper costume. Then rise those crags, that mountain tower, which charmed my fancy's wakening hour. But I have remained a child even unto this day, and thus I decided to make my bread by storytelling, and honest bread it is. I will dig in the mines of my imagination to find diamonds. These are magic leaves we spread 